Let's take a look at Cameron Crowe holding an Oscar for a very specific reason. I don't know if you know this, but Cameron Crowe won an Oscar for best screenplay for Almost Famous. And I have to say that I was proud to be part of him winning that award because I said some of those lines in that best screenplay Oscar winning script. That's right, my friends. It is time for a segment we are going to call Mark Marin is somebody. Okay? dressing room and you didn't do your 25 you minutes. fuck with my band safety ever. Well, fuck you, man. I'm going to report you to every promoter in this country. I'm going to talk to Frank Barcelona you tonight. No, Frank Barcelona, you You're are. a bunch of amateurs, oh. man. You wanna, Come on. You wanna... Come on. What do you got? What do you got? Take you fucking go. Hey, hey, watch the shirt, fuck. Now I'm going to kick your ass. Take it easy. Take it easy, man. Take All I know is I hope you got a good lawyer, buddy. Hey, you better make a live album because this is your last fucking tour. What? What? What's what, is that? What? what is that? What are you, Bruce Lee? Yeah, yeah, come on. Come on. Come on. Take it easy. Oh. Lock the gates. Oh. Hey, Those were the fucking This is your last fucking tour, man. Lock the gates on these fuckheads. Oh. Amateurs. You don't know who you're dealing with here. Lock the gates. Oh. Now, you see, I'd like to think that when people were deciding whether or not to give that best screenplay, that there were a couple people on the fence, but that scene, which I improvised quite a bit of, by the way, uh, was really what uh, pushed them over the edge to vote for that screenplay. That was the director's cut, which I haven't seen in a while, because in the director's cut, in my mind, most of the film is about me. And, and there was a lot of stuff in there that we had, we had a fight so many times. And, and, and Noah Taylor was crazy. One time he came off the bus naked. One time he came off with, they, Cameron Crowe kept telling him to come off the bus, would do something different. One time he came out and broke a guitar. And then there was that. It took a long time to shoot that. And uh, it was kind of interesting because it was very exciting to be, uh, to be involved in, in the film because Cameron Crowe is a very accessible guy, a very nice guy. During dinner once, uh, one night I, I was on the set for three days, he actually sat next to my wife and I, my first wife, and had dinner with us. I mean, why would he do that? I have a two-second role in the film. Uh, but the, the best part of the, uh, the shoot, the, the unglamorous part, it was, I, you know, every, it was a very open set, and you know, I was hanging out with Crud Up, and uh, Jason Lee was like really sort of like, you know, kind of like, you know, he, he sensed in a Scientology way that I might be a drain on his energy field. So I, I, I literally felt the wall of Scientology pushing me away from Jason Lee. But I talked to uh, the guys who played the roadies. But the funny part about that scene is that we shot all that stuff with the whole cast around, and it was good fun. And then the bus chasing bit. They could have got anyone to do that. They could have just kind of given them my clothes. But Cameron goes, no, we want you to hang out, uh, and we're going to shoot the, uh, you, you drive the car. You can drive it, right? I'm like, yeah, no problem. We're going to shoot you uh, chasing the bus. Now, this was at 1230 at night. What I didn't know is the second crew comes in then. Cameron goes home. Billy goes home. Uh, you know, what's her name? Goldie Hawn's daughter with the new nose goes home. Uh, uh, you know, uh, Jason Lee goes home. Everyone goes home but me the second unit director and a camera guy. And I drove up and down that ramp about 15 times sucking down bus fumes to get that amazing shot 
of me saying lock the gates, which was actually put in in voiceover. Now, if we could, why don't we listen to it uh, one more time with the commentary? That would be fun to hear Cameron Crowe talking about me. Meanwhile, we've, we have <laughs> Mark Marin is the promoter. On, That's Mark Marin. Yeah. Oh, wow. And what Noah Taylor, and he really got into Take it. We shot this at the LA Coliseum, <laughs> so we put the full fight in. Finally, they had to come up to us. The sun was coming up. We had to quit filming anyway. But people came up to me and said, "Hey, man, it's getting a little rough, isn't it? Getting a little rough." I love that Noah goes back inside and then decides, "No, more fighting." <laughs> That's Noah. Look at him. Bruce Lee. Yeah, he wanted he wanted to add this kind of martial arts thing to it. Apparently, that's Cameron Crowe's mom. 